fourth graders, welcome to Book A Day. You'll notice that our Book A Day format looks a little bit different today, and that is because I want to make sure you can see all those pictures. There is so much interesting information in our book today, and unfortunately, I won't be able to do it all in the 15 minute YouTube time limit. Just know if you want to go back, you can always go back and pause that video to skim and scan for interesting information. Today's Book A Day, Gross as a snot otter. Right now, I'm guessing a lot of you are making a connection to a previous book we've read. You're right. This book is um, a sibling of, what was it? Pink is for blobfish. Okay, here we go. Today's vocabulary word is unpalatable. Repeat, unpalatable. It's an adjective, a describing word. It means unappealing or off-putting, like a can of gross brown dog food. Oh my goodness, look at how grossed out that cat is. The cat finds that dog food unpalatable. I wonder how our word connects to our story today. Gross as a snot otter. Question number one, do you think this story is going to be fiction? or non-fiction. Fiction or non-fiction. This story is non-fiction. This story is real. It's all about the world's most disgusting animals. Here we go. Disgusting, vile, repugnant, gross. Gross animals are everywhere. And there's more to these creatures than just ew and yuck. Turn the page, but be warned, this book is not for the squeamish. Gross as a snot otter. If you're disgusting and you know it, hide under a rock. Oh, that's where the snot otter also known as the hellbander salamander, can be found. Snot otters are not covered in snot, but they are covered in mucus, which comes from glands in their skin. This protects them against infections and cuts and makes them extra slippery and slimy to escape predators. Gross as a zombie worm who lives in a rotting whale carcass. Carcass is like another way to say dead body. Ah! Who lives in a rotting whale carcass under the sea? The zombie worm, of course. Unlike zombies of myth, the zombie worm doesn't eat brains. It eats bones, but it doesn't have a mouth or a stomach. Instead, it secretes an acid from its skin, which dissolves bones and releases the fat and protein inside the whale. Yum. The dating game. Zombie worms live up to 10,000 feet deep on the ocean floor. It's very hard to survive down there and even harder to find a mate. Zombie worms avoid this search by moving in together, literally. Microscopic males live inside the larger females' bodies. Over a hundred males have been found inside of a single female zombie worm. Oh, gross as a dumpy tree frog. The dumpy tree frog didn't ask for its unfortunate name, but it certainly lives up to it. Also known as the Australian green tree frog, this outback oddball spends most of its time in dark, humid environments. It's no stranger to people. And many have reported finding one of these frogs hiding out under the rim of their toilet bowl. Oh my goodness. Ugh! Gross as a maggot. Squirming, writhing, disgusting. Maggots are one of the world's most repulsive creatures, but they are also incredibly fascinating. Maggots are the larval stage of flies, and they are some of nature's best recyclers. 
By eating dead animals and rotting vegetation, they provide a vital cleanup surface. Gross as a giraffe. Wait, what? Long neck, stilt-like legs, and excessive drool? That's right. The giraffe is the world's tallest creature, and it's also one of the drooliest animals out there. But drool can come in handy. Giraffes love eating leaves from the Asias, Asasia tree. These trees are full of long, sharp thorns. All of that thick, gooey drool on the giraffe's tongue protects it from injury as it eats. Gross as a Siberian chipmunk? Gross chipmunks? You bet! When they encounter a dead snake, these chipmunks are known to gnaw on its flesh, then rub it onto their own bodies. Sometimes they even roll in the snake's pee. Ah! Why? If you smell like a dangerous snake, predators will keep their distance. Wouldn't you? Gross as a hagfish. Hagfish are known for one thing and one thing only. Slime. These fish secrete a glattinous goop from their skin when they are threatened. The goop expands so quickly in water that it can suffocate other fish by clogging up their gills. To deslime themselves, hagfish twist into a knot, wringing out the slime. Gross as a star-nosed mole? Oh my gosh, look at that nose. The first thing you might be wondering about a star-nosed mole is what on earth is stuck to its face? That star-shaped appendage is its nose. It might look strange, but that bizarre tentacled snout contains more than 100,000 nerve fibers. That's five times the number of nerves in your hand and allows the mole to sense its surroundings underground. Gross as a parrotfish. We all like to get cozy when we sleep at night, and the parrotfish is no different. Okay, maybe they're a little different. Instead of snuggling up in a blanket, baby parrotfish build a cocoon of mucus around themselves. Mucus is like a synonym for like boogers. This is like a sleeping bag made of slime. They have been even known to eat the mucus when they wake up. Ugh, breakfast and bed. Okay, I have to read this interesting fact. Beach bums. There's nothing more relaxing than a white sandy beach, right? Think again, because there's a good chance you're sitting on parrotfish poop. Parrotfish use their sharp beak-like teeth to nosh on the algae that grow on coral. Sometimes they bite off chunks of coral as they eat. These chunks are broken down by the fish's pharyngeal teeth and come out the other end as white sand. For M, look at this fact. On some Caribbean beaches, the sand is up to 85% parrotfish poop. Well, maybe that's one good reason I didn't go on spring break this year. That sounds nasty. Gross as a marabou stork. Marabou stork legs are gray-brown, so why do they typically look white? The white color is due to what scientists call whitewash, which is a fancy way of saying that this stork poops on its own legs. Oh, don't judge the stork too quickly, though. This whitewash of poop evaporates and lowers their body temperature keeping the storks cool. Whitewash also has antiseptic properties. Gross as a Spanish ribbed newt. You know, things are getting gross when your insides become your outsides. The Spanish ribbed newt doesn't have claws or sharp teeth, so it uses its ribs as weapons. By pumping its body full of air, this newt forces its barbed ribs through its skin. The ribs deliver a poisonous sting to any predator that gets too close. That's crazy. Oh, 
gross as a Suriname tobe. Here's the thing about reproduction. It can get weird. Many toads lay their eggs in water. Suriname toad mothers take a much stranger approach. After fertilizing her eggs, male toads push the eggs onto the mother's back. After a few days, her skin grows around the eggs, protecting them until they are ready to hatch. Oh! Gross as a fulmer. The name fulmer, the name fulmer means foul gull. And this animal certainly lives up to the term. When threatened by other birds, fulmer chicks will projectile vomit a sticky, oily substance onto their attackers. Not only does this oil smell horrible, it sticks to feathers and makes it difficult to fly. Look at that bird throwing up. Gross as a Sicilian. Nope, this isn't a worm and it's not a snake either. The Sicilian is actually an amphibian and it's a dual ended wonder. This means two. Glands in this creature's head secrete gooey slime, which helps it burrow forward through soil. At the other end, poison glands in its butt leave a trail of nasty chemicals that ward off predators. Gross as a herring. How do you communicate when you're stuck underwater? If you're a herring, you, uh, oh my goodness, fart. Flatulence is frowned upon in polite human society, but these fish fart to make conversation. Unlike human flatulence, which comes from our digestive tracts, herring expel air from their swim bladders. Scientists call this high-pitched farting fast repetitive tick sounds or FRT is for short. Gross as a dung beetle. What? Dung is a synonym or same meaning word for poop. Look at that beetle's eating a piece of poop. Let's read and find out. Is there anything grosser than poop? How about poop for dinner? The dung beetle is named for its meal of choice, moist, tasty dung. Most dung beetles eat the poop of herbivores, those are like animals that only eat plants, and their mouths are specially adapted to suck out the nutrients and microorganisms from every plop, patty, and pile. Look at that alliteration use. Dung beetles also lay their eggs in poop, which makes a wonderful breakfast for baby beetles. Gross as a sea cucumber. Let's get one thing clear. Sea cucumbers are not vegetables. These ocean dwellers are echinoderms and they're fascinating from top to bottom. And speaking of bottoms, that's what they use to breathe. They draw in water through their rears where a pair of respiratory trees extract oxygen and send it into their bloodstream. Yep, you read that right. Sea cucumbers breathe through their butts. Oh, already at the end. I'm gonna skip this part. Oh no, this part's interesting. I'm gonna read this one. Have you ever wondered why certain things make us feel disgusted? The answer might not be as simple as you think. As humans evolved, the feeling of disgust helped us stay safe. It was a warning sign telling us to stay away from stinky, rotting food or contagious diseases. Disgust alerts us to things that would make us sick or even kill